They're known as migraines. And for many, they can control your life. But there is some hope for relief. Thank goodness. This morning, Dr. Brian Healy of Fort Myers Acupuncture and Massage is talking with us about acupuncture. Doctor, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Okay, first things first. Yes. Acupuncture for migraines. How does this work exactly? Yeah. In Chinese medicine, the idea that... Um, uh, the idea is that the pain from migraines and headaches is related to a uh, deficiency or a blockage in the circulation. Okay. Now, in Chinese medicine, we talk about the circulation of blood, of lymph, but there's also this concept uh, called qi, which is like vitality. It's mm -hmm. the ability of the body to heal. It's the organizing, intelligent principle that guides the circulation. Right. So in acupuncture, we talk about how the chi flows through various channels or meridians in the body. Okay. The acupuncture points lie along those meridians, and they act like little switches or valves that help to control the flow of chi. So sometimes a headache can be from too much circulation or chi in the head. Sometimes it can be from too little. Hmm. So when we have an acupuncture pa patient, we do a very individual evaluation to see what the underlying cause may be. Okay. In Chinese medicine, headache and migraine is actually considered a separate disease. So there are many causes for that. And like say, for instance, you both had migraines. If you came to my office, you might get completely different treatments, even though your symptoms were very similar. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So we kind of want to demonstrate here what it's like. Uh, and we were talking in the break a little bit. It's, it's not painful. Kind of walk me through the process. You're going to kind of do it in my hand here so we can show what Correct. it looks like. Right. Um, but walk us through the process of how you determine where you're putting it, what you're doing, those types of things as you do this, if you want. Right. Well, the the big thing is is the intake that I have with a patient. Okay. I find out about where all the details of their symptoms. Right. Um, how long they've been having the headaches uh, or migraines, where they show up. You know, different parts of the head can indicate right. different etiologies or different causes for the, for the headaches or migraines. Um, other extenuating circumstances, like are they under stress, or uh, if it's if it's a female, are they, is it associated with a particular part of their hormonal hormonal cycle? Mm -hmm. So we get as much information as possible, and that then helps us to come up with a, a specific uh, what we call a point prescription. So that all tell gotcha. us which points to use because yeah. there are many many different points that can help a headache mm -hmm. but we want to be very specific and okay. use as few needles as possible at the most appropriate points for an individual okay so do you want to do you want to try sure. that on me <laughs> yeah very commonly the points that we use uh, would be not just in the head we do use points in the head but also in the hands the wrists the feet the ankles okay so I'd be happy to demonstrate sure yeah go for okay. it so if you have a patient come to you with, uh, with complaints of migraines, the hand is a, is a go-to place to, to combat that. Yes, the hand and the ear, actually. Interesting. In addition to uh, the acupuncture needles uh, that can go in the hand, in the, knee, in the head, in the ear, mm -hmm. uh, I also use these little um, pellets, these little adhesive Band-Aid pellets that can go in the ear. So we oh, have wow. a lot of different treatments. It doesn't have to be needles. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So let's, if you have a knee, needle phobia, let's do this. you can get the pellet. Exactly, and I also have uh, I also do laser acupuncture, where oh. these fiber optic cables attach to the acupuncture points. No needles involved at all. all right. I want to but see in this case, case okay, so okay. my hands are clean, and um, I have a uh, alcohol swab, um, and I'm going to just clean the skin. We're going to do a point here, and we're going to do a point right there. Okay. Okay. Now, you will feel. Here's the needle, and uh, you can see the red of the handle of the needle. And then there's something called a guide tube around the needle. Right. And so you will feel the pressure of the guide tube against the skin. Okay. And then a little, maybe a little pinch as the needle goes in, but it shouldn't be particularly painful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll get the needle ready. Okay. I'll hold it against the skin. This is a very common acupuncture point that we use in there. So that starts the needle. Okay. And then I'll insert it just a little bit more to the appropriate depth. Okay. There you go. And how yeah, many would you place in there? Uh, um, I'm going to do two. My typical treatments will run anywhere from 12 to 20 needles, okay. depending on the individual. Um, someone like Christina, who's strong and healthy and young. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> full of life. We can do hope. a stronger treatment with more needles. 
However, if I have a, a, an older patient, perhaps they have some health issues, and their health is not great, their chi is not strong, mm -hmm. we might do a shorter treatment with fewer needles, but do it more frequently. Okay. Okay. So for someone so, like this, you mentioned um, the placement of the needles. It all determines. It all depends on rather where people are getting the headache. So for somebody correct. that is getting needles in their hand, say, where would they be getting headaches? Well, again, it, it all depends on which points we use in the okay. hand. Okay. Yeah. So for this. So these we'll are two that. general points that are commonly used uh, for headaches for many different etiologies. Okay. Huh. So this is a point. Um, that, that helps to move the chi and improve circulation. Okay. Um, this is a point that helps to um, nourish what's called yin or the, the, the cooling aspect of the body. Um, but there, again, there are many other points that I can use in the hand too. These are just pretty simple. All right. Yes. Dr. And Healy. then, of course, if you'd like, I can put a point on the top of your <laughs> head. I mean, I would like that. I, I would. But we'll okay. have to do that in, in weather or something or during <laughs> yeah. a package because we got to move on. Okay. But thank you, Dr. Yeah. Healy, thank you.